did you think at the beginning of the treatment? So today's treatment started, uh, we got things set up and a windstorm blew up uh, just after uh, we snapped and tapped the first cartridge and I got my needles in, both buttonholes in, which I, I keep thinking the buttonholes are going to be the problem. So I get the needles in and boom, a, a windstorm's coming through. I guess it was a standstorm on shore. And, uh, and so uh, our umbrella here tipped over, taking a bucket of sand that then pinched the line uh, coming out the, uh, the uh, effluent line, the drain line that's coming out of the machine was pinched, but we were looking for clamps and uh, I kept telling the machine, nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong, until finally we found that. And uh, so we couldn't clear a uh, number two alarm. I kept checking, we thought the balance chambers. So we went ahead and primed a new cartridge. Um, so at that point, I'm thinking, maybe we, this is the time we're not gonna get a treatment. We're gonna, you know, kinda get a bust. And then that puts pressure on to dialyze tomorrow, which I don't wanna have to dialyze any one day. And so I started thinking, you know, okay, this is gonna maybe be a problem. But uh, we primed the next cartridge and then I made a mistake just by um, being out of my routine. And so I, I uh, hit stop before I did the snap and tap, which will make sense to people who use next stage. But um, eventually we got it cleared and got on. So, um, but for a while there, I, I really thought, well, this might mean uh, that we've really hit a major hiccup, but uh, no, <laughs> it was just a hiccup and uh, we overcame it but uh, you know that was probably something we should have expected and I think uh, maybe slowing down the process of getting on we want to get on as fast as possible to get as much treatment as possible and still get off during daylight so um, and we stopped early today for that point so the fact that we stopped early means that actually we didn't go way late into the night so um, I guess it all worked out but uh, it, it was frustrating for a moment. It was frustrating to make a mistake, uh, but uh, it's, it's still working and you just have to accept uh, mistakes will be made and uh, wind storms will happen and you can still deal with it. it you can still do dialysis. We, we were coming down into the canyon expecting perfect weather and uh, ideal conditions. And uh, so it's really because of the guides from Arizona RAF that uh, you know they they're able to overcome these obstacles and uh, inspire us to do our part. So uh, so far so good. I think we'll, we'll, we're going to make it to the end of the trip and hopefully have one more treatment and uh, and have lots of stories to tell. <laughs> we're we're going to make it to the end of the trip without having something named after us. Perhaps. Yeah, we don't want. I don't think they want the next stage rapid. That probably isn't their idea of publicity. And we don't want the dialyzer rapid or anything like that. The Peckham, no, no, no Peckham flips or anything. So we're gonna just go and, and leave the names as we found them. We're not supposed to take anything or leave anything in the canyon. So I don't want to leave a name either. That's yeah, so really the idea. Yeah. So you, you you made an interesting point earlier about how to ride the rapids. You got to ride them all the way through, and that's kind of seen how this treatment went. Is that is there a correlation there? Uh, yeah, I think uh, if you talk to the guides that the way you approach a rapid is you need your own momentum, you know, you have, but you have to, you know, you do have to pay attention the whole time until it's over. And uh, so that's kind of like dialysis too. I, I think uh, a lot of times it's easy to just go with the flow, kind of float down the river and uh, assume everything's going to work out. Just kind of stick your arm out in a center and, and let, let, let the momentum take you. But really, I think it's better if you have your own momentum and go at it. You, and uh, that, that's how you get more success and, uh, and kind of control things a little better. But paying attention the whole time and, uh, and not you know, saying, ooh, I made it through the first wave and then getting nailed by the next. You know, it's it's uh, like dialysis that you, you have to see every wave through and, and even the very uh, minor ones that are never a problem can be a problem if you're not paying attention. So, yeah, I, I can make that uh, analogy work, but uh, it's, uh, you know, the river is even more unpredictable than dialysis. Dialysis isn't that unpredictable, so I'm really glad it isn't like exactly like the Colorado because that would make it pretty hard. <laughs> but, uh, 
I think there's there's a lesson there for uh, running rivers and doing dialysis. Yeah.